<laughs> you fucking nose dive. You dumb shit, look, it's all over his collar. Welcome back! Totally fucking fell there. Anyway, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt. So today, we are doing a Q&A. Now, I put on my Instagram yesterday that I wanted you guys to ask me some questions. So now, I'm going to answer some of those questions and see if you guys find the humor in some of my answers. Phone. Oh, I wasn't done asking questions yet, <laughs> Give buddy. Give me the phone. Stop asking <laughs> me stupid-ass questions. No, all of them. Thank you, you're the best. Why can't you drink a fucking bottle of Jack before you do this shit? I could drink a bottle of Jack Shut before I do this. Alright, so the first question was, did you ever try Skull Vanilla? No. If you, you can, if you can find a can of Skull Vanilla and send it to me, I would love you forever. I'm not even kidding, I would love to try it. Do they not make them anymore? I don't think so. Second question was, dip only Skull Berry for a year or only dip pouches for five years? Joke's on you. You didn't say anything about you. Looks like I'm going to love Redman and Levi Garrett. Have you tried the new Coat Black yet? I have not. Unfortunately, Pennsylvania is one of the last states to get a lot of dip. Um, I, I wasn't too big of a fan of the Coat Black from like two, three years ago. I don't know. I just didn't like it. What's your favorite time to pack a lip? You want, you want, you want an honest answer? Whenever I'm doing anything, anything, when I'm driving, shitting, Sharing. best time is, is probably after I eat. That's, that's probably my favorite in a close second. It's like a tie with the shower. There's nothing better than a shower or a shower, a shower, 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 <laughs> then a shower dip. And then honestly, you just get to stomp the freaking patty down the drain. It's, it's an amazing feeling. My favorite chew. It's a tough one. I really like Copenhagen Straight and Southern Blend, but I don't know. Grizzly came out with the Premium Dark Wintergreen a few years ago, and I've been in love ever since. What's your favorite Copenhagen flavor? Uh, same thing kind of as the last question, either Southern Blend or Straight. What's my favorite car? Well, if you guys watched a lot of these questions, I actually answered either in the previous Q&A or just kind of along in my videos. Um, my favorite car I would love to have a 69 Camaro my dream truck is a 77 to 79 F 150 or an F 250 whichever one stop looking at me like I'm retarded because you fucking are it's really not nice uh, my favorite or oh, hey, oh, oh missed one what type of dip was the first dip that you ever tried if you guys would watch the videos you would know just saying <laughs> Nobody liked your damn attitude, but it was Copenhagen Southern Blend, and I puked all over myself in my brother's car. Ever, damn it, I skipped again. Favorite dip drink combo: Where did the dog go? Copenhagen Straight and okay. Yingling Lager. Ever tried cigars? Yeah, yes, I have tried cigars. If you could race any car-related YouTuber in the quarter mile, who would it be? That is, is that even yours? it'd be nice to like race street speed or 717 or TJ Hunt or guys like I don't have the car that could compete with one of them, even though it'd be fun. I really like Evan Shanks. Uh, Evan, Evan Shanks, I loved when he had his STI hatch. Um, he kind of grew my love for STI hatches. I always loved the blob eyes. Now I have the blob eye. Um, but if Evan still had his Miata. I would totally run him in the Subi or the GTI, and that'd be freaking fun. Um, let's see here. Are you going to the YouTube call-out on the 28th? <laughs> Possibly. It depends on work and just getting down there. It's like an hour and 45 minutes away. There is a chance I could be there. I will let you guys know most likely a day or two on Instagram whether or not I will be going. Uh, what's your favorite species of fish to catch? Well, I do a lot of fishing in New York State in the Finger Lakes. They really don't have much other than smallmouth bass. I would love to go fishing and just explore and do a lot of other shit. But honestly, I get too caught up in time a lot. Uh, have you ever dipped Tough Guy? No, I haven't. I'd like to try it, though, to be honest with you. 
Have you ever got caught dipping somewhere you shouldn't be? <laughs> One of my best friends, Caleb, he was in a couple of the videos. When we were a senior in high school, we were on the baseball bus, and him and I decided we were both going to pack hammers in the back of the bus. And the dumbass JV kids were sitting in the front of the bus and go, ooh, what's that smell? Well, needless to say, Caleb and I, if the bus seat's like this, we're just sitting there like this. Coach calls both of our names, and uh, we were made to stay on the bus. And the whole team had to do suicides for an hour. So you can, 2014 varsity Cedar Crest baseball team, you can thank Caleb and I for that. What's your favorite dip out of Grizzly? This guy, Grizzly Premium Dark Wintergreen. What influenced me to start dipping? Uh, my brother started, and I was yeah, I was young when I first started. Um, that and I worked on farms, and everybody either smoked cigarettes or dipped. Unfortunately, I ended up doing both. What's an extreme thing you would do for some dip? Honestly, <laughs> if it came down to it, shit would go down. Like it, There's no question about it. it. It would get real. When we were down at senior week, if you can believe this, I took three logs down to senior week. I went through 15 cans in four days, and I walked like 15, 20 blocks just to go get a can of Longhorn straight for $14, and I was so pissed. I put in the first pinch and threw it out and went, and went inside again. I think I spent 17 or 18 on a can of Copenhagen. What age did I start dipping? 18, of course. Answer. Just kidding, I was 13. Uh, who's my favorite country music artist? That was a tough one, but I'm going to have to go with the good stuff. Kenny Chesney. Um, will you ever buy a truck and make it a project truck for the channel? Yeah, I'm, I've been looking. I'm so teetering back and forth on what I want to get. Um, we've talked about it in previous videos that I would probably end up getting rid of the Subi. Um, ultimately, I would like to get a Duramax, but... I'm also thinking about maybe getting like a C10 or a K10. Um, old 80s truck, just kinda have something to beat around in. Uh, would you rather dip Skullberry pouches for the rest of your life or slam your dick in a car door? That would be my little brother. And uh, I'd say I'd slam your dick in a car door, but it's not big <laughs> enough. Would you ever buy a Duramax? Yeah, yeah I would. <laughs> How old were you when you put your first dip in and what was it, 13? Copenhagen Southern Blend. What's my dream car? Um, talked about it earlier. Obviously this 69 Camaro, that would be a baby. That would be, I don't know, I, I couldn't see myself beating the ever-loving piss out of a 69 Camaro um, as much as it would be fun to have a 454 and a 69 Camaro and just go balls to walls everywhere. I have a respect for older vehicles and you gotta understand a 69 Camaro is it's up there in age, and they're very rare to find in decent condition. The majority of them are redone, but even to get a roller, you know, just a shell, is you're talking like eight, nine thousand dollars, which that would have to be later down the road, and then it would have to be a ground up restoration. Um, when was the last time you pooped without packing a lip? This question right here from David Dino. Follow him on Instagram because he probably had my favorite comment inside here. Um, when was the last time I pooped without packing a lip? I, honestly, I don't know. Because literally I wake up, take a shit before I go to work, and I have a wad in. And then I proceed to go in the shower. That's, that's an everyday occurrence. I mean, even when I'm at work, every time I'm at work and take a shit, I have a dip in. Um, why did I start dipping? Why haven't you? You gonna go to Mardi Gras this year? I live in Louisiana, so I know for sure I'll be there. Uh, that's why I ask. No, I probably won't go down to Louisiana. It would be fun, but I, I don't see myself going to Louisiana anytime soon. What is your overall favorite dip of all time? Talked about that one earlier. Southern Blend, Straight, both Copenhagen or Grizzly Premium Dark. Uh, nine millimeter or a 45, and why did you choose the nine millimeter? I didn't choose the nine millimeter. But um, I like my 40. I mean, that's that's always nice. My 40. Please stop pointing your fucking gun at me, you it's asshole. It's not pointed at you. You want to fight about it? Fucking use your head. You're kind of cute. Shut up. Um, I would prefer to carry a 45 
Now my dad has the Smith & Wesson Shield 9. That is a great gun in my opinion. Uh, it's just kind of hard being 6'1", 170 pounds. It's hard to conceal, even appendix carrying. Um, I might just get ballsy by a 45 and just have it on my hip. Uh, somebody said, Simpa. Immediately when I saw that, I had no idea what the hell you were talking about, but I thought about Simone and Timba, is that right? Yeah, that's what I thought of. Uh, how many dips have you tried in all? A lot. <laughs> a lot of dip. Um, then this dumbass beside me commented like 25 freaking questions. Um, let's see here. What are you carving in your pumpkin this year? A dip can. Probably. I knew you were going to say that. It's just going to be a circle. Uh, will you shave your head bald if I buy you a year's worth of chew? You're absolutely damn straight. <laughs> Change the word chew to dip and we'll be golden. Fine. When are you selling the Subaru? Why do you want me to get rid of the goddamn Subi so bad? Well, it's been sitting there just collecting money. Ah, <sighs> whatever. Pound sand. And then you said it again. Said what? Uh, what's the next big project and when? It all depends on when I wake up and finally make a decision to go get something. I change my mind constantly. And no matter what I have, I'm happy for a while, then I change my damn mind. Just like Are you tired of answering the same questions about dip all the time? No, no I'm not. <laughs> when are you finally coming out of the closet? I don't have a closet. <laughs> if you could buy any already built car in the world, what would it be? Don't say Subaru. I wouldn't buy a pre-built car. Well, if you had to. No, I. there's no reason for me to have to. Okay, fine. Then don't answer the question. I don't care. I did answer the question. You just didn't like my goddamn answer. Uh, You said don't say Subaru. What's your favorite cartoon? Don't say Subaru. It's a tough one. See, we weren't allowed to watch Spongebob as kids because my mom was... Spongebob was a bad influence. Whatever. That's um, But I would always watch The Simpsons, Family Guy. But that's so much better than Spongebob, right? Honestly, Courage the Cowardly Dog was my shit back in the day. There you go. It really was. That's Courage the Cowardly Dog. Like. All right. So, since she's going to complain... Your dog is up there doing something it shouldn't be doing. He's pissing on the compost bin, in case you were wondering. Get him down here. But I would just like to tell you guys that I never got tacos the other night, even though if you watched the video the other day, I asked for freaking tacos. We yeah, never had tacos. Cool. But if this was your first time watching a video on my channel, I hope you give it a big thumbs up. I try to post videos every day this week, and the past couple weeks have been kind of crappy. But stay tuned for tomorrow. Finally got my hands on this. So we'll be doing a video on Grizzly death, Premium Dark Select. Till then, see you freaking guys tomorrow.